Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings and this is for Sag. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with Sag? Oh, your cards already want to flip out. <laughs> What's going on with Sagittarius, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit? What's going on with Sagittarius? What do they need to hear and know for this week? Oh, okay. That's why I said somebody wants to talk. Your cards are flying out. Six of Pentacles. Okay. So who's breadcrumbing? Someone could be breadcrumbing. Vice versa. Take it as, a re as it resonates. Put the characters where they go as the cards come out. Okay, someone could be breadcrumbing. Someone could be counting up money, trying to save. Someone could be going through some type of financial issue. Someone could be overgiving to a situation. Tell me more, please. Page of Pentacles. Ooh, somebody could be paying for child support or investing in a child. Mm. Someone could feel like they don't have enough financially as well. What, what else we got? Two of Swords. Someone is in decision mode. They're trying to decide what to do, possibly on how to say something. Someone is trying to figure out how to communicate something in the situation this week. Yeah, could be to you. This could be you who needs to communicate something. With the Queen of Wands, that is your energy. Ah, Nine of Wands, you could... Let me just say this as a side note for, for those of you who are not dealing with love. At your 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 home or your your place of residence or where you work, you could feel very tired. Someone is very tired with the nine of wands energy. You're feeling very tired. I'm getting that for someone. Okay. That's just a side note for others of you. I feel like someone is definitely watching you. <laughs> someone could be watching you while you work. Some of you are, do you work outside? Someone works outside. Maybe it could be construction work or something like that, but a gardening, um, landscaping. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I'm stopping because I'm trying to see what the energies are here that I'm getting. Someone is watching you like while you work or someone, someone sees you and they feel like you're overwhelmed. Someone knows that you're overwhelmed with something, okay? They're sitting there watching you. Look at look at them, okay? Page of Swords, Nine of Wands, because I feel like this is your energy. Nine of Wands and then Queen of Wands, okay? So they could be watching you a lot and maybe they just see like you're tired or you put in a lot of hours at the job or something like that, okay? They could be watching you around your neighborhood as well, so be aware of that. I don't feel like in a creepy way, they're just observant of you and someone like likes how you work or they like your work ethic. They like the stuff that you like you do around the, the, the neighborhood. Some of you could be like walking your dogs or something like that. And someone is checking you out. That's what I feel. Okay. For others of you, I feel like this, uh, person, they're trying to hold back. They're not doing a very good job of it. Cause I, I, I feel like you can see this. And you're sitting in this energy of the queen of wands. You are in your fire sign energy. So uh, you're kind of, <laughs> some of you are feisty. <laughs> you're very feisty at this time. Uh, some of you have like a slick tongue, like a smart mouth. Like <laughs> you're known for that for some of you. You're like known for like quick, like comebacks. Like you'll snap on a hoe like real quick. Like that's <laughs> That's what I feel, okay? Um, and this person, they're very attracted to that and they they try to hold back. Um, they also feel like they're like afraid to lose you. Someone doesn't want you to get away. Yeah, because we have two aces back here. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. Yes. Oh, Ace of Wands. Okay. You stand out to this person, Sagittarius. Let me tell you, you stand out to this person, King of Cups, the Emperor. Some of you are dealing with a water sign or an Aries or an Aquarius, okay, with the star card. Two major arcanas are here with the Emperor and the star card. You really stand out to this person. 
I, I don't know who this person is, but they are watching you and you stand out to them. What is the Six of Pentacles? Okay, Four of Cups. Whoa, almost dropped the deck. Cancerian Energy with the Chariot. Ten of Wands. Okay, so something has been a burden with getting things moving, getting things going. It's been a burden and you feel kind of rejected by this person or you feel, um, I think you got this energy before maybe two weeks ago, like you feel bored with the offer because we ha we do have the four of cups. It's like, you've just been sitting there kind of looking at the cup and you don't really like what's in the cup. Yeah. And then with the chariot energy, it's like you're moving forward. You mo you're moving on, though it may be a burden. It may be tough to move on, you know, from this person, because maybe you felt like you were very attracted to them, but they just weren't giving enough with the six of pentacles. They weren't giving into the situation. You felt maybe it was unfair or maybe one sided. Um, yeah, it's like. I, I, I'm moving on, but uh, I don't really want to. I feel like you're very attracted to someone. Someone could be acting uh, like a child as well. Like their, their style is not very attractive to you. Like someone could be geeky or nerdy. I'm feeling that energy as well. Like you could be very sexy, right? And this person could be very, I don't know why I'm getting that with the page of swords energy someone is like a, a computer geek or a bookworm or <laughs> something like that like something is someone is kind of like maybe they're not fully your type okay <clears throat> maybe you were like sexually attracted to them but then when you started to look at them and like look at what like what they had to offer maybe you start feeling like eh, eh. <laughs> okay they may also feel this about you like they may feel like you are not attracted to them and they may may not feel like they measure up that's what i feel as well okay i feel something with travel there's a, been a burden with travel for some of you yeah someone is overworked maybe you're always at work and you don't have time for a relationship why is page of pentacles here five of cups See, someone regrets like having small talk in the past. They want to reconcile three of cups. Yeah, but they're hiding it. They regret like not talking enough or not communicating enough with the page of pentacles. It's like this person is beating themselves up. Like, why was I so shy? Like, why can I just say something to Sagittarius? Why can I just talk to them? Okay, page of pentacles with the five of cups. Lots of regrets in the past. Like they feel like they should have said more or communicated more three of cups they wish that they could like ask you out on a date they want to dance with you someone likes your body your physique i'm getting that energy someone likes like if you've ever like played around this person or you've ever danced around them like this person oh <laughs> yeah it's that tough energy like oh they having a hard time <laughs> someone's having a hard time okay <clears throat> With the high priestess, they're keeping it a secret, though. They they wouldn't duh, let you know that they're this turned on by you because they're super shy. Someone someone is super shy, like painfully shy. Mm, painfully shy. Yeah. What's that two of swords energy, please? Yeah. Hanging man could be a Pisces for some of you. Six of swords. They're in. They're stuck. Someone is stuck. Yeah, because they have their guards up. This could be you as well. You could have your guards up toward this whoop, 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 toward this person. Uh-huh. You could have your guards up toward this person. I, I, if I can talk, I already showed you <laughs> the queen of wands. Now we have a king of wands with the seven of wands. This person is very defensive or guarded. I feel like they don't want to show you that you absolutely positively turn them on. You see how the seven of wands is blocking all of that heat and passion back there. Someone is trying to, it's like they're trying to keep it professional. Ooh, someone could be trying to move away from another person. And this is why they have to hide their passions for you because we do have an empress back here. This could be a wife, a husband, a baby mama, baby daddy. Will of Fortune that they're trying to move on from, okay? That could be the case. And 
So something is blocking this connection right now, seven of wands, or they feel like they have to block out their feelings or passions toward you because they don't want to uh, bring you into a third party. Okay. That's for some of you. For others of you, I feel like with that hanged man, things are just stuck right now. Um, and it's something with travel or movement. This person is having difficulties coming to see you or making a move toward you, literally making a move toward you as far as like, okay, they haven't walked up to you. They, they keep holding back four of pentacles. You know, they want to say something, but this person feels very timid, very shy. They also, uh, feel like maybe showing affection or showing passion toward you would be inappropriate. That's what I feel as well. Someone feels like this would be inappropriate. Take it as it resonates. Okay. So how do you feel about this person? How is Sag feeling about this person at this time? Oh, okay. Okay, what we got? Did something else flip over? No, okay. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So there's your energy again with that nine of wands. So it actually came out. Okay, so five of swords, you're trying to be strategic. You're also trying to keep the upper hand in this situation. I feel like you don't want this person to weaken you or make you feel weak in any kind of way. Some of you could be holding back communication from this person, trying to look strong. Okay, I do feel that. Nine of wands, um, What? why are you feeling like this with the nine of wands? You, you don't want to let them go either but you feel like giving up on this at the same time. You're definitely spying with the page of swords. You feel, um, you feel like this person could be spying on you. They could be, they could be watching you as well. Cause this is how you feel. So you could be feeling like this person is spying on you or they, um, but they're going through a difficult situation. You could feel that way. For others of you, you're going through a difficult situation, trying to figure out where, whether or not to let this person go. And you're definitely trying to get more information or yeah, more clarity, Ace of Swords on the situation. How do they feel about Aquarius? Aquarius, Sagittarius, <laughs> all the Aries, you know, sorry. How does this per person feel about Sagittarius? Okay. Okay. What we got? Okay, nine of cups reversed. Ooh, so they feel like you don't want them? Yeah, they want to communicate. Page of wands. Oh. Maybe they feel like the time has already passed. This person feels like maybe they waited too long. Seven of pentacles to say how you were what they desired. And they kind of let this desire get away from them. Yeah, they're looking back at the past. Someone could be tempted to start drinking again. Maybe they overcame drinking in the past. And the situation is making them feel like they want to drink again. I'm getting that energy for somebody. That's maybe for a handful of you guys, but someone is looking at the past and the strong energy that I'm feeling mostly is that they regret not talking to you when they had the chance. Like they, they should have said something to you when they had the chance. Yeah. Mm. Did you address this person about something? <laughs> Some of you address this person about their drinking problem. I do want to say that, okay? How's, how are they feeling? Eight of Pentacles. They're very focused on their work right now. They could be working on themselves, okay? To maybe get rid of an addiction or some of them are just focused on like work, money, their success. Some of them could be like in the gym. Some of them are trying to manifest income, more income. Yeah, they're worried about their fortune. Will of fortune, worried about their money. Ace of pentacles, yes. Someone is focused on their money right now. And they may feel like this is you as well. You, They may see you and be spying on you and see that you are more so focused on your coin, focused on money. 
What's the potential outcome? Ooh, the devil popped up. Capricorn energy could be dealing with the cap. The devil energy. Hmm. What is what is this energy for this week? Five of Wands. Who? Drama, gossip, assuming. Y'all, y'all have a uh, messy people around you. If you work with this person, it's messy coworkers. Yeah, see, there's a struggle for financial success. Someone could be struggling with uh, a job or with a family, okay? Family problems, money issues, because we have 10 of, oh, we got three tens, 10 of swords, 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles. Yeah, someone is struggling. Seven of swords is here. Someone could be trying to get away from all of this betrayal, hurt. This could have nothing to do with you, Sagittarius. Someone is going through a lot financially when you get the Ten of Pentacles or with a family issue or with trying to put things to an end with the Ten of Swords, okay? So that that for that outcome, that what came out was the Devil Energy with the Five of Wands. So gossip, it's the energy of gossip. It's the energy of a bunch of competing opinions, arguing, petty arguments, okay? There's a lot of conflict here. Someone could be dealing with anger issues or just feeling mentally conflicted, feeling defeated. Okay, you are your person. Someone is going through a lot for the outcome this week. Now, it's just the energy for this week. Okay, that, that doesn't mean that things can't change, but for the outcome, yeah. Someone is definitely uh, fighting. You could have an issue with the Capricorn as well or a Leo for some of you. Mm, okay. So what's the advice? What's the advice, please? Okay, okay. They're falling out. What we got? Look at this. For some of you, this will happen in the near future. That that could be any timeline. Uh, it'll be different for, for all of you, but Spirit is saying something is going to happen in the near future because it's not the right time. So this week is just not the right time to work things out or reconcile with this person, or it shows that there will continue to be fighting or arguing uh, for this week, opposing opinions or too many people gossiping about the situation. So it's just not the right time and to remain positive. Yes, because I did feel the energy of anger or arguing, like be careful of, over, um, be careful not to get into petty arguments with this person or with their family or their friends or vice versa. Okay. Remain positive because something could change in a whole year from now. Okay. In a year from now, maybe this person will be able to get free from a lot. See, but there's no need to worry. Now, some of you are just moving on. Okay. You may not see it now. It may not be the right time for you to see it. That's why you need to remain positive because some of you in the near future, you will be moving on and there's no need to worry. Okay. That's for some of you. And so what's the advice here? Oh, okay. <laughs> that flew out. More insight for Sagittarius in this situation. Any more insight for Sagittarius? Any more insight? Okay. You deserve love. Yeah. You deserve love. Some of you, you need to really focus on yourself and really show yourself some love, okay? Really put yourself first. And uh, for some of you, you need to know that if things don't work out with this person, you do deserve to have that love in your life, okay? You are worthy of that type of deep love and deep connection with another person. Yeah, see, pay attention to the red flags, because someone could have returned from this person's past to disrupt things, okay? Something could have happened with an uh, ex, like baby mama, baby daddy, and I, I've already stated that before. But pay attention to the red flags, okay? Now, you could have a soulmate connection with this person. You could feel like you've known this person in a past life, okay? The connection may be that strong, but there's something to pay attention to. What is that red flag there? Give me a card on that. What's the red flags here for Sagittarius? Tell me about these red flags. What are they? 
Okay. Yeah, someone could be married or have a family. Okay. Red flags. What are the red flags? Okay. Nine of swords reversed. There could be um, a lot of overthinking, like someone overthinks this situation. They don't really know how to stop overthinking or how to come out of this feeling of having anxiety. And they're not really willing to take a leap of faith. Someone is not a risk taker. And that's what I was saying. They could have a lot of emotions for you and still be trying to end stuff with another person or with a family situation or with a money situation. And they're not willing to pull you into that energy. So someone at this time, they're not taking a leap of faith. This is not a brand new beginning for this person. Okay. This person could feel like, um, they're, they're very foolish for doing something. They could have done something very foolish in the past regarding a marriage or a home. Someone could have done something very foolish to lose a family. So when you meet someone and they say that they're divorcing or they're going, they went through a divorce, you never know why this person left their spouse or what really happened. They could have been kicked out. You know what I'm saying? They could have been the, the cause of the divorce. So make sure you are getting the right information that you need, because I feel like this person could be suffering some type of financial loss. They could have had to move in with a family member or something like that. And this person is not in the state of mind nor the financial uh, situation, their finances are being attacked in some type of way. Uh, could Oh man, I'm seeing a lot back here. Yeah, their finances are being attacked. And I feel like they're not confident enough financially to date you or to continue this. Empress with the Three of Swords and the Emperor. This could be your energy or I feel like this is someone who there could have been cheating with a spouse. Okay. Husband and wife with the Three of Swords in the middle. Y'all, there was heartbreak in a marriage. Seven of Cups, someone could have been keeping their options open in this marriage with the Harfont. Yes, and somebody was kicked out. I'm telling you, this person could have literally, there was an ending. There was a divorce. Yeah, death with the tower. Yeah, someone uh, could have lost a spouse to um, like actual death. I do want to say that as well. And they're not over it. If someone is a widow or a widower and and you don't know this and you just see, feel like they're just sad, sad, sad. Someone could have lost a spouse. Someone could have also lost a, a mother or a father. Okay. I'm getting lots of different energies from this. And this was a tower moment in this person's life. Get more information on this person. That's what I want to tell you, you guys, because, um, if you feel sadness coming from this person, I feel like it's much deeper than what you know, okay? Much, much deeper than what you know. Alrighty, Sag, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you. I will see you guys in your next reading. Take care. Bye.